Hey folks, welcome to Maverick Groundworks. Today I'm going to talk about uh, something that just came into the shop a couple days ago. This new Springfield Saint Victor version of their of their uh, AR-15 pistol. Okay, and this one with a seven and a half inch barrel and a compensator on the front of it. Pretty cool trick. Um, really nice gun, I believe, for for the value of uh, the money wise here. I just want to talk about a couple features of it versus some of the other uh, stuff in the market and give you an idea of what we're looking at here. So with the Victor version, good now take our safety flag out so the gun is not ready. All right. We have our typical adjustable arm brace that also includes a 2D mount on the back of it where you can put a single point sling on the back of it, make it easy to take in and out. Also, it comes from the factory with the QD backing plate on the back of your receiver here. So you have that option also to be able to connect your, your sling. Um, on this one, we also have a really good textured grip on the, you know, on the pistol grip part of it. That thing has, has a really good texturing, good purchase on it. Our trigger guard for here also, rather than being the straight trigger guard like on your standard AR type stuff, this one has a little bit more relief on it. Um, so you have a little more space for your trigger finger. Okay, especially if you're using gloves, it gives you a little more uh, maneuverability there. The trigger itself, you notice the trigger is flat face trigger. Personally, I like that flat face trigger too, better than the curved ones. Um, just has to make a better feel if I like the, uh, the feedback from the, uh, the flat face trigger on it as it, uh, you know, as it touches the pad of your, of your trigger finger. Now, it's also one thing I noticed about this one too, um, is that the safety lever is also ambidextrous. We have our safety on the right and left side, okay? and it is not quite a 90 degree throw. It's a little bit less than that, I forget what it is, if it's 45 degrees, but it's 50 degrees or so. But it don't have to go quite as far all the way up like a, a lot of uh, the standard AR type triggers are. <coughs> And that being the case, a little more maneuverable, a little faster to top right here. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Um, let's go ahead and do the uh, trigger pull test. Okay. See what the, what the actual trigger pull is on it from the factory. And you can see safety is engaged. We take the trigger uh, safety off of it. Hook our gauge to it and see what we get here on our trusty RCBS trigger pull gauge. Four and a half pounds, and that is that is right out of the box. There's not anything to it. So um, I see as a as an AR trigger goes, it's that's uh, pretty good in the ballpark where it needs to be. And I'm gonna hold the trigger back, I cycle the bolt, release it a little bit, and really good quick reset. See, it feels a little better than a typical mill spec trigger. And I like that idea. Without having to do spend extra money for an aftermarket trigger, it's really good right out of the box. Right. So, anyways, let's take uh, while I've got it here, I'll go ahead and, and take our uh, take down pin, push it out on the back, clip it up, and we'll show you that we have the typical uh, AR style trigger in it <clears throat> that is uh, really smooth for a factory style trigger. And just so you know, it comes apart just like every other. AR style rifle would be, in this case, a uh, handgun pistol version. Um, so you pull your bolt out, you have easy access to be able to clean your trigger assembly. Uh, also, your bolt uh, uh, take comes out easy, okay, so you can clean everything in there. And remember to clean your star chamber out. Um, there are brushes and foam swabs to be able to access to the star chamber. Um, but one of the things I've seen with, I want to say typical of, of a lot of AR style products is that rapid firing, you may end up with a piece of brass uh, comes from your some of your uh, cases, especially if they've been hand loaded several times, or even the primer pocket uh, is loose and primers come out of them sometimes, we've run across that several times. So you'll end up with a piece of brass uh, getting stuck in the, <coughs> in the chamber where the, uh, the head of the bolt rotates and get a piece of brass in there and it will get stuck. Okay. And when that happens, you possibly can get it out 
without having to disassemble it, but a lot of times we end up having to take the gun apart to uh, you know, get the bolt out of it, clean it out. So just be aware of that. It's not nothing to do with, with Springfield or any other brand. It's just uh, sometimes that's a, a ammo malfunction, whether what causes it, and not the gun itself. Now we've got it uh, cleaned out a little bit. We'll stick our bolt back in, close it down, put our pin back in, and she's ready to go back to work. Just that quick. Anyway, that's my take on the Springfield um, St. Victor, all right, with a seven and a half inch barrel. Really a nice little gun. Has features from the factory built in that you wouldn't have to do aftermarket wise, and it gives it a good, I believe, a good value for the dollar. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If we can help you out with something at the Maverick Gun Works, give us a call.